Hey, what's going on YouTube? Back at the game, Marine X here. And I was just thinking to myself, we've looked at a few bags that have to do with like 72 hour emergency kits, but we haven't looked at many emergency kits that are specifically designed to be kept at the house. So everything that we look at a lot is for the stuff, a bug out bag, get home bag, some crazy bag you're gonna be stuck in the woods that you're gonna be able to use to possibly get you out of a pickle. We've only looked at a few bags for the house, one of those being the Prepster by Preppy, 72 hour two person survival kit. We've looked at the Little Preppy by Prepster, little kid, 72 hour emergency kit. Well, at first I wasn't the biggest fan of the bags because they seem to be kind of pricey for the things that you get. However, the responses that I got from people are, you know what, listen, I know folks that are not into survival, they don't have any emergency equipment, those bags are big enough to supplement I like those bags. So I thought I'd bring you another one. I have here the, the Prepster Advanced Emergency Backpack 3-Day Emergency Kit. Now this bag purports to be fireproof and it looks shiny. It's in your face. It looks kind of fireproof. I'm not sure how fireproof it will be. I guess we might give that a whirl here in the video. So the bag itself is designed to take temperatures up to 700 degrees. It's made from some of the same materials they make firefighter suits from. So what would you use this for, right? This bag really would be used for situations where you live in an area where it's prone to wildfires, fires. I live in Texas, we get fires here. But if you live in Oregon, California, Nevada, Arizona, all those Western states that get a lot of fires, you might wanna keep a bag like this with you. What if you live in a residential area that's compact, right? New York City, more people per square mile than anywhere else in the country. Well, if somebody else's apartment catches fire, wouldn't it be nice to know that you have a bag that can take up to 700 degrees of temperature? We bring this bag here. It's really designed, to, they give you survival items. However, it's really designed to keep your important items inside. Birth certificates, social security cards, important documents maybe some spare medicine, stuff like that. So I figured we would take a look at it. So the bag itself is covered by this double, double mirror canvas coating with Kevlar. And it's just really, I mean, first off, it's very shiny, if that's what you're looking for. If you're down with a shiny bag, then we got you covered. But it feels really nice to the touch. Same issue, same problem I have with the other Prepster bag. Although the straps are leather, and although they're relatively nice looking, these are not designed in any capacity, any capacity to carry this bag any type of long distance. Just you adding a few more items to this bag plus the weight of the bag itself, you know, these straps are not gonna last forever. But like I say, this bag is really a bag that's designed to be stuck in a closet somewhere and for you, for you to use when you see fit, you have an emergency come up. So, as we kind of take a look at the outside of the bag itself, it does have a leather strap at the top, which keeps the, the contents closed and kind of provides the final seal for the weather, uh, for the fire protection. So it's fire retardant up to 700 degrees. So, you know, I'm not sure what the average temperature of a house fire is, but I'm pretty sure they came up with the design of the bag itself with the aspects of being able to use this in a house fire. So let's crack this thing open and see some of the stuff that you get inside. I'll give you a little top down view of how the bag looks with all the items inside. Then I'm gonna kind of pull it back and just kind of go one by one. So it's, I mean, it's, it's fairly well packaged. There seems to be a little bit of give to add extra items. I don't know what extra items. Maybe you wanna add a small ax, small escape tool, because if you're using this inside of a house, maybe you want something to get yourself out. And I just don't think this bag is gonna have that. Maybe I will be wrong. So we'll take a look. So we're gonna slide this to its side and get started. So the first thing I see is an N95 mask. So one thing I wanna say about this bag is this bag is designed for one person. The uh, other Prepster bag that I looked at was a two person 72 hour survival kit. This was a N95 mask, so that's gonna be good. Not necessarily because we're in the times of a pandemic, but moreover, because if you are in an environment where you are trying to filter yourself from smoke, N95 mask might be helpful. Here we have a big old spool of paracord. It's high orange in color. And so, you know, it's, I mean, nothing really necessarily special about it. Just a bunch of paracord. It looks like it's at least 50 feet of it. I'm not really sure. 
But one thing I will say is you can't really use this for ascents or descents. So imagine you're on the second floor of your house or something like that and you want to just try to make some kind of descent. I mean, if all else fails, I, I'll make it happen. They give you a very, very, very cheap carabiner D-ring on here that I wouldn't use for anything, but at least you get some. As we continue, once again, the Preppy, the Adventure Medical Kit. Now, their medical kit, I remember taking a look at this in the last bag. So, you know, their medical kit is a very basic type kit, ultra light, water tight, as long as you keep it sealed. You know, let's take a look at some of the stuff you have in here. So I see guys, I see some, some tape, seeing some band-aids, some saline, I see safety pins, some gloves. So just like basic items that are gonna help you when you're stuck in an emergency situation, mostly in a static emergency situation. They're not gonna be giving you an Israeli bandage. They're not gonna be giving you a, a tourniquet or anything like that, but they are gonna give you enough band-aids and gauze to treat most wounds while you're at the house. So that's a good, it's pretty smart. The fact that it's two layers of protection is something that I can appreciate. In here also is a nice thing of duct tape. That was unexpected. So this thing, band-aids, iodine, alcohol pads, medical tape. So two layers to kind of keep it from waterproof. And they want it to be waterproof because imagine there is a fire, there's water sprinklers where you live. Now the med kit has two layers of waterproofing to it that you can still possibly be able to use the items inside. They all ha also has these little loops on the outside of the kit itself so that you can maybe use that D-ring to hook it to something or whatever the case might be. The Daytrex, about three days worth of their big old chunky food bars. I mean, it's better than not having anything at all. So, you know, high calorie, um, servings here, 18 servings within this little food container. This thing has like five years of shelf life. Not the best tape tasting thing in the world. It's approved by the Coast Guard. You know, we don't use that in the Marines, but you know, at least you got something to eat. So they also give you their emergency radio. It's a solar and hand crank radio. It's also a phone and tablet charger weather band radio emergency lighting not anything super unique about these radios themselves these are usually kind of some of those made in china specials but at least you have a battery bank you have a flashlight on the side so you know it's the it's it does have a little power right out the box which i'm not used to with some of these things you can hand crank it so there's different ways to charge this up and it is rocking the micro usb they give you a little charging cord so this might be something, once again, another little carabiner that you know you can use it to hook to something. But this might be something that you can have. Um, we recently in my house had an emergency. We used an emergency radio. We were able to get the weather band with the emergency radio. So as cheesy as these things may be, they work well in emergency situations. I will say this bag is pretty full. It's pretty full in here. They give you some astronaut ice cream, comfort items, comfort food for those times when you're going to be stuck somewhere for a few days. I'm probably just gonna give this to my kids because I'm just not really interested in that stuff. So um, Preppy kind of got to make your uh, listing a little bit more prevalent. I mean, I'm just now discovering the listing of all the items in here itself. I think I had the same complaint with the other bag, but at least you do give a comprehensive list of all the items inside. Not really explain how to use any of the items inside. I think a lot of these are self-explanatory. What do you do with water? You drink it. What do you do with food? You eat it. Stuff like that makes sense. But, you know, I would recommend that you look at the inventory list and decide how you want to supplement if you do decide to purchase this bag. The very bottom of the bag is kind of used as a base. And the bottom of the bag is a little rigid. Actually, I kind of like that about it. It's a little rigid at the bottom. They give you lots of water. However, Preppy, okay, Preppy, one of my water, something's leaking in my water. I got a leak. I don't know if you can see that, 
but I have a leak. We are gonna have to talk to your quality control because I'm dependent on this water source. Now it's leaking all in my bag and I don't even know if I can use this, but they do give you some water. I'll reach out to them and see if they'll send out a replacement. So you got some water that you get. So they give you their space blanket, their emergency blankets. I think I since have tested this out from their other kit. Their space blankets did not seem to be the most resilient. I mean, just feeling this, I guess this is not doing horrible. It's not tearing it off, but there's a little bit left for their emergency blankets. You've seen some of the emergency blankets I have. Some of the blue ones are a little bit more. They're bigger. They're not as loud. They're re more reusable, you know, for the price of this bag, which we'll talk about the price in a little bit. You know, I would expect you to get a little bit more out of some space blankets, especially that the intent of that space blanket, I guess if you're trapped in your house with this emergency kit, you know, what's the goal? You know, using that blanket for three days, that's, that's not gonna work. But you know, that's my why you might wanna supplement this bag. They do give you a headlamp. This is a hundred percent. Let's see where this thing is made. Made in China headlamp. This is one of the worst headlamps I have seen in an emergency kit in all the kits I've looked at. The It feels as if it can come off this strap. The strap doesn't feel like it's the most, it, like I'm adjusting the strap, but it feels like just putting it on my head is going to force the tension to go backwards. Uh, let's see what kind of batteries it works off. It does work off of triple a battery so thank you for that i appreciate that double a or triple a only all right preppy i'm not sure about this there we go well the light is bright but the spillage is real my this table is four feet in diameter and there is light all over the place the light is not precise it does have a medium mode it does have red flashing light which is not really sos sos is usually a white flashing light so I would recommend you might want to get a different headlamp, but if you don't have a headlamp at all, this is going to be a, a come up for you. The flask. Now, the flask that Preppy gives you, you know, you can put it in here, whatever you want. The other flask from their other kit, I have since used a couple of times and I kind of like it. I do like the size of the flask. It seems to work well. You know, I was able to kind of slip it into a, uh, my pocket and so, you know, if you don't have a flask, they give you a flask. Remembering that your emergency radio is also a battery bank you can charge devices with. They do give you a charger, which has an iPhone lightning cable here and you can unclip it and it has a micro USB on here. But guess what? How many phones in 2020 are rocking micro USB chargers? Okay, the lightning cable, that makes sense, iPhones, but you guys really gotta upgrade to the USB Type-C. I mean, the cord is also not that long. What is this, six, eight inches, something like that? So it could, a little bit longer of cord would be nice, but at least they give you a charger. More duct tape, so there was duct tape inside of the medical kit. They also give you orange duct tape, a spool of that. The stickiness, same complaint I have with their other kit. The stickiness, the adhesive of the duct tape is not covered by anything. So eventually, if you store this in a hot closet or somewhere, this, this adhesive is going to get everywhere. So you might want to wrap that up, keep that somewhere. They do give you some four-hour candles. They give you four four-hour candles. So now you have a little bit of light just in case emergency goes out. You don't have to just sit and use the flashlight the entire time. So that's a good thing. Now... A multi-tool now the multi-tool so I'm looking I'm looking at their multi-tool it's a basic black no-name multi-tool if you don't own a multi-tool it does it's a multi-tool it's not really functioning that great as I would imagine like how do I make the pliers open not really sure where you compare that to like a nice Leatherman multi-tool where I come out I'm able to use it, it functions correctly. I open it up, the pliers open, and it just seems to function a lot better. So their multi-tool is not doing any of that. It's just kind of sitting here. Maybe it needs to be oiled. 
It does have a hacksaw, it does have uh, some Phillips. It has can opener, bottle opener, it has a knife. Wow, this knife, I can let my kids play with this. This knife is so dull that I'm running my finger over it. It feels like a nail file. Okay, so this multi, I would have left this multi tool out of the bag because it's so not good. Like, and I'm not trying to compare it directly against a Leatherman, but this Leatherman P4 Micra here has an incredible knife. And I mean, the knife on this Micra is probably almost three and a half inches. This one here is probably two and a half, three inches. I mean, what am I supposed to do with this thing? It is a, uh, there's a lot left to be desired with this multi-tool. But, I mean, let's look at a glass half full. You don't own a multi-tool, now you have a multi-tool. My recommendation would be replace that multi-tool because this thing is not gonna be that helpful for you. It does say stainless steel and it does say China on the inside. So another Chinese product in the bag itself. Hey, if you're liking this video so far, if you're getting anything from this video, make sure you hit that like button below, hit the subscribe button. If you're not a part of the battalion, come on, come on, join us. Come on, welcome, join in, come, welcome to the battalion. Now listen, they give you a little pad here for field notes. Now the field notes are not weatherproof. Well, maybe they are. I don't know if this is weatherproof. These feel weatherproof. Proudly printed and manufactured in the United States. Well, look at this made in America feel notepad here, accompanied by a made in China pencil. That's how you gotta do it. So they give you a little pencil, they give you some field notes. So they give you an emergency poncho. Emergency poncho here. They give you one. It is orange in color, so you can be easily identified. It does feel like you're going to sweat like crazy in this thing, but at least you have something to keep you dry. You know, I do like the colors that they're providing in here, the orange, the brightness. They're really thinking about you're stuck in a situation and you wanna be found. That's what this stuff is screaming at me. Orange 550 cord, orange pad, orange poncho, stuff like that. This emergency whistle does not feel like it's gonna put out any decibels. Yeah, there's just not a lot of decibels from this thing. I mean, so the, the benefit of having an emergency whistle is you're not expending your voice via yelling, okay? So yeah, they give you one, but you know, I think you'd be better off buying one and kind of supplementing if you want an emergency whistle. But look at this sweet pack of playing, playing cards, full size playing cards. Take that emergency, other emergency kits. They give you the micros and the minis. Now you have some playing cards you can play with family while you're waiting around to be rescued or to escape from wherever you are. They give you a pair of gloves. These gloves themselves, they give you these little, you know, this rubber on the outside to increase dexterity for whatever you're trying to do. And this is gonna provide a minimum amount of protection for whatever you might be trying to do. They give you some, some, uh, some matches. Now, what I will say is this striker is ill-placed. Now, a lot of strikers for emergency kits are on the outside. It's nothing wrong with that. But look at this. It's already starting to peel. Look at that. I, I'm almost... I'm starting to peel the striker pad off. And it looks like it's not fully seated in this actual... Like, look, I can pull the striker pad out. What is it, replaceable? Like, why would you... Is there even a backup? Let's, let's see. They do give you backup striker pads on the inside of the matches, but that first one is just trash. These, these smell bad, which usually means they work good. So they give you some matches. Looks like they give you about 20. So they give you about 20 matches. So you, now you can use some of the shavings from the pencil because I haven't seen any other tender so far. I guess you use some of the shavings from the pencil with that doll knife and get you a fire cranked up. You got a tent. You have a tube style tent that you can set up maybe somewhere in your house with a little bit of cordage in there as well and have a little bit of protection somewhere to lay down. I don't know if this thing has a floor to it, but it's a tent. So they give you a emergency whistle flashlight combo 
glow stick looking thing. Doesn't put out the, a ton of light, as you can kind of see. But, you know, it does flash to kind of help alert. I'm assuming this thing floats in water. It has five light modes. It put out eight lumens. That thing's going to blow your socks off. Has an emergency whistle on this side here, which can be accessed by peeling this off and blowing the emergency whistle part the back there. I mean, this is something different. Uh, I would, I wish they made it so that you can tie this to the paracord. Like, how are you gonna attach the paracord to this light so that maybe you can swing it in a circle and gain someone's attention with the paracord light trick that you can do with chem lights? This doesn't really have a very, I mean, look how small that hole is. If you're gonna be trying to, if you're gonna be trying to hook something to this, this hole is just inaccessible by a paracord. So put on your thinking cap for that one. Some hand warmers. You know, I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of hand warmers. I guess if you're completely just really needing something, having some hand warmers is better than nothing. But, uh, I, I would guess I would use these on my kidneys before I use them on my hands. They give you a couple of hand warmers. They're 10 plus hours of continuous warmth. That's nice. They also give you some extra dark cocoa chocolate. Now, I tried their chocolate from their other kit. It was extremely rich. Like, it came from somewhere in Europe rich. Let me see where this stuff is produced at. Says it comes out of Berkeley, California. It's organic, certified kosher. Eat by 119 20. Okay. 119 2021. Preppy, let, let me just let me talk to you for a second. I don't know the quality control of your bags. I don't know what you got going on around here. But this chocolate expired seven months ago seven months ago now i'm using the word expired best buy doesn't mean it's expired best buy means it's gonna taste best buy this date but why would you send me a bag without doing a basic level of quality control we got the striker on the matches we got the expired chocolate we got water busted in my emergency kit not a big fan of this, but you got some chocolate. So if you're a chocolate head, man, you like dark chocolate, and you got some of that now. Well, look at this. Aren't you gonna be clean in your emergency situation? They give you some of the highest quality face moisturizer, body wash, and peppermint shampoo that you can find at these high quality hotels because that's what you're concerned about in an emergency. It's good old shampoo. But they give it to you. So three days. I mean, I can go three days without washing my hair. I mean, I go three months without washing my hair. But I'm just saying, like, this, you know, that's cute. The same from the other kit. They gave you the same, you know, luxurious kit. Now, this was another complaint that I had from the other kit. They give you one bag of tea. Three days of survival one bag of tea i guess you could steep it over and over and over again but this is a blend of black tea from asia no sugar so if you want a little you need a little tea in your life they give you some tea and i guess you can use that flask to drink it i don't know how you're going to whip that up they do give you some additional triple a batteries give you a little gray for that i didn't know panasonic still made batteries but Give you some AAA batteries to go along with that flashlight, or maybe it goes along with something else in here. I don't I haven't even discovered yet. Multi-purpose 50-gallon bags. Always a good thing to have bags. It'd be kind of nice if they were a color instead of this white. But multi-purpose bags can always be used to keep something dry, carry something, lug something around, whatever the case may be. They also give you some toothpaste. Got to keep those good old fangs clean. So they give you quite a bit of toothpaste that will last surely more than three days. See if they give you a toothbrush. They do give you a toothbrush. And uh, Preppy, I think we could have got a little bit better toothbrush. I mean, it's already beginning to bend. The bristles are bending and it has not touched one fang in my mouth. What's going on here, man? Bristles are bending at the very front. 
hasn't been opened yet. That's it. That is. All right. Let's set this bag on fire. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna test out the viability of this 700 degree claim that they have for the bag. So, so right now the bag completely unlit is 85 degrees. So we have our blowtorch here. All right, so the we have the blowtorch here. The blowtorch is 100 and let's call it 300 and at the closest part of the torch itself is about 400 degrees. The tip is about 280. So we're not gonna actually we're not gonna activate the torch. We're just gonna try it like this. All right, so we can see the bag got hot. The bag is now, let's check the temperature of the bag. The bag is now 144 degrees. So the bag is cooking, it's hot. That's the blowtorch. The very tip of the blowtorch is about 300 degrees or so. All right, so the bag got up to about 144 degrees. Let's check the contents. I don't know, Preppy. At 144 degrees, I mean, everything's doing kind of okay. Maybe you can see there's a little singeing on the preppy bag. Their glove itself was kind of, their glove itself was kind of sticking to the side of the bag. I mean, this, this bag is hot. That's only, you know, at the tip of that flame, that was only like 320 degrees of heat. So I'm about to crank this up, man. I don't know if it's gonna be able to take it. I just don't know. Now, you gotta remember a fire, a house fire, right? It's not gonna be necessarily putting that type of flame directly on it. It's probably gonna gradually heat up kind of like a frog in boiling water. But I mean, I would imagine to do more than that. Let's do this. All right, so you see we got 340 degrees on the flame. 340 degrees on the flame. So that is it. The Prepster Advanced Emergency Survival Bag. I mean, it doesn't seem like it made it through my test. I think I have max temperatures of 400, 500 degrees. Now, to be fair, I was putting direct flame on this thing. That's probably not going to simulate a house fire. House fires, they could be blazing and roaring, right? But most of them gradually build up. But I mean, it was starting to burn papers. I think when I had it at what, 143 degrees? There's clearly a hole in the bottom of the bag. It, it might be a bag that you might wanna spend, but wait, this is $995. To be fair, it does come with this little solar power, you know, charger here, which also has a sundial, which kind of helps you point it in the right direction but at bio light i probably could google this and figure out how much this thing is valued at it's made in china it says it can provide uh see 20 hours of cooking to a camp a cook stove so after it's gathered its battery bank up 36 hours of light for the light itself and 36 hours of light for the mini light so it does have few different neat looking modes you can put it on the back of your bag and let it gather some power while you're walking or hiking or rucking or whatever so i mean so yeah they give you a you know they give you a 
solar panel. Then they give you this bag. Now there's some other options that you can have for this bag. I pay for this bag with my own money. Now I will say that you can add on to the bag by adding the Garmin little GPS. But the thing about that, that includes a monthly subscription. So it doesn't really make sense to buy that edition when you're going to have to spend, I think it's like $40 a month just to have that GPS feature. So this bag smells horrible. Um, so let's just take a look at some of the, the guts. You see that charring in there, all that searing, the burning in there. I mean, if there was smell of vision, I would just have you know that a lot of my items just didn't didn't really make it. You can kind of see here. Let's just pull a few things out. My flask made it. Look at that. You want to keep something in your little flask, then you know, you should be fine. But you know the thing that the med kit, let's just see now can I the med kit, little hole in it there. But I'm really, I'm wondering about, you know, the paper products because they want you to keep your important documents in here, right? So I didn't add any paper products other than, so this is a little paper product on the front of this space blanket. Can't really tell that that was ever a space blanket paper. It's now stuck together with, I think that was the poncho. Ugh. Pull this, can't even get this thing out of here, man. That's the glove, that thing's charred. This thing's pulling some of the bag with it. I mean, look at this thing, man. 700 degrees, I don't know. I wanna see some lab testing, Preppy. Show me, show me your lab testing, cause I mean, my batteries are all torn up. The emergency radio's done for. I can just not pull this back slowly and I'm looking for the paper. My important papers. Let's find my papers. The food seems to be okay. It's a little charring on it, but it seems to still be a little, you know, maybe, maybe something you can deal with. The radio box is pretty trash. 550 cord looks great. That's a winner. We'll keep that. The emergency whistle completely done for. It just looks like a emergency joke now I guess the paper you know my important papers probably unless I'm keeping them way in the back of the bag and I didn't even light the back of the bag up I imagine I would have got the same results with all these if I would have had a bunch of important documents back here so a lot of this stuff here is not necessarily burned but you got to think I put direct heat on the front of the bag to simulate a fire coming in to the front of the bag itself I could have engulfed the entire bag, but you know, can I recommend this bag for yourself? That's gonna be up to you, man. It's your money. You know, you can spend it how you want to. You may say to yourself, like, listen, I just needed to be able to that first burn test. I think I took it up to like 200 degrees. It seemed to make that cut pretty easily. Listen, if you like stuff like this, bags, survival kits, all that good stuff, just cl click here. Click right there. I'm gonna put some videos there, right there. You can check some out. Might be a little bit better than this, worse than this. You never know right make sure you hit that subscribe button we definitely want to have you part of the battalion if you've came back welcome back thank you for coming everybody else we'll talk to you soon thanks for coming back